my god, yes. Okay. Um <laughs> Are you actually going to No, I absolutely will. Okay. Um Mike, what should Yo, oh, honey. Mike's shooting his shot right now with Timmy Lafon. <laughs> Everybody's shooting their shot. I'm just gonna hit up HR. <laughs> <laughs> You're listening to the old fogey podcast. With your host, You're such an old fogey. Corny Grinwis and Carter Harden. You old fogey. Welcome to Old Fogey Podcast, the, one of the episodes. Yeah. So, like, what's your vibe today? Like, what's going on? Wow, like, didn't even inter- introduce us. <laughs> Hi, I'm Carter, the most smart one of the group. <laughs> Second to me, but if not probably smarter, is Big Mike, our producer. I love that. And then, I don't necessarily believe that, but go for it. <laughs> and then our little friend, Courtney Grinwis, is here as well. Great intro. I'm doing great. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I'm doing good. I'm a little tired. I'm a little beat. Why? But I'm doing great. Why are you beat? I've just been going, 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 you guys. Cordy's been traveling, a little traveling lady. Wearing lots of masks. Right. Yeah, it's been great. It's been fun flying. Fifth, fifth one in, and we always have to be like, we wore masks. I know. Right. We cut that. It's a, it's a new staple of society, man. That's the new, I'm a responsible human. It fucking is. I am responsible. Right. I don't want to get no COVID, bring it back to the fam. Well, that's really nice of you, considering you went to three different places. Yeah, but I'm being careful and cautious right. because you have a heart condition. I do. It, so I'm just looking out for it you and the band. The band. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. But you said that you did some pretty crazy stuff. I did. Spill the tea. It's been really fun. Or so the beans. Spill we the went beans. for okay. So I was in Pittsburgh this oh, past weekend. Gobble me. Gobble me. Swallow me. And still trying to make that a thing. <laughs> trying. And it was the most beautiful weather. It, it reminded me of the Michigan weather, which makes sense because Pennsylvania is very close to Michigan, right. which I totally forgot. I thought it was like way more south, but it was beautiful. We went for a really nice hike. Core ate some mushrooms. Oh. That was really exciting. Like ones that like fun. affect your body? Or yeah, just like, like the some... fun ones, the Whoa. good ones. Yeah. How did you like I did. How did you like it? Oh, I loved it. It was great. You did? I did. I, I didn't do too much. Just a good little, good little small micro dose. Microdose? Um, microdose. That's what the cool kids call it, I guess. Cool. Um, but yeah, I did that. <clears throat> I had a full on conversation with like an earthworm trying to like f- <laughs> channel my energy wow. through the tree, through the universe to that inchworm. You did everything. To make it move. Yeah. Dude, it was great. Wow. I've actually been there, so I can empathize with that. You've done shrooms? Yeah. Wow. Shrooms? Talk to a tree stump. It was great. You talk, so is it just like an earth based thing that happens? Like, kind of, you do them out in nature because it's like a good place to do them. And it connects you with the universe. Like, no joke. I know this sounds like crazy, but we were sitting on a rock, like off to the, like, there's this river and we're sitting on a big rock. And no shit, we're sitting there. And I felt part of my body being connected, like roots from a tree to this rock. Like, you're just so connected to the earth and the ground. Right. And, Sarah and I were sitting there. My friend Sarah, she's amazing. Hmm. We were sitting there watching these branches just, you know, uh, do this <laughs> do this type of thing in the right. fucking wind. And she's sitting Finger there. She goes, the Court, holy fuck, I can see the wind. Wow. Like, I can see the air. Like, I can see the wind. Like, she's speaking to me. Dude, it was fucking awesome. Wow. Yeah, so we spent, like, six hours in the woods, I think. It was really cool. And then, <laughs> Your dream see, scenario. here's what I don't get, though. This mm-hmm. is fucked up. So, you know, I have my little dose. We're walking around. I'm having the time of my life. Sounds I'm like thanking the universe. I'm telling every inch and aspect of her how much I love her and appreciate her. Right. We're walking through. I'm like, dirt. Oh, bitch, like, I love you. Right. Tree, I love you. Like, I was touching every tree as we go. Water, wind, or, I no love consent? you. No right. consent. But, wow. you know, see, it, was, it was that time. And that's no, like but a I was <laughs> in court, <laughs> but yeah, keep going. <laughs> it was the right time. Okay. That was really bad. <laughs> keep going. But no, I'm like expressing my gratitude towards the planet. Right. And then a good 20 minutes later, we step and look at like one of the trail maps mm-hmm. and I get fucking stung by a bee. Yeah. Like a full on bee yeah. stung my ankle and it really hurt. I thought it was an ant. And then I looked down and I like clearly stepped on a whole like bee's nest. Situational oh. awareness. Situational right. awareness. But I got stung bees by a bee. Hard. That sucked. But I was like, you know what? I'm a tough bitch. I'm not going to let this bee bring my buzz down. Right. It is okay. Right. 
I'm just really glad I wasn't allergic to bees. Right. Yeah. That would have been really bad. Yeah. And that was really cool. So that's what I did this weekend. Yeah, there's something to shrooms, man. That's why uh, all these CEOs and doctors and shit go to Burning Man like once a year, mm -hmm. get high out of their mind for a week, and then go back with like revolutionary surgery ideas and research Dude, it, concepts it opens and up great your ideas mind. for companies and it shit. It really does. Like, yeah. I mean, you remembered everything too. Oh, yeah. You remember. You're, so, you're still so with it. You're just a little, like, you're just happy. Right. It's kind of, yeah. And everything just makes a little bit more sense. So you can see mm -hmm. yourself, this is like an everyday kind of thing for oh, you now? Oh, God, no. Okay. <sighs> but like, I don't know, maybe someday. I think that day or that time, we won't be friends. Because I don't think... Oh, I'm no, is that when, why you're when mad I'm at 80, me? I'm going to be like, all the psychedelics, give them to me. Really? Right? No, yeah, when I'm old? Yeah. No, Done. I wanna, I wanna, Living in I wanna, the mountains, just smoking weed every day, doing mushrooms. Are you joking? Oh, my God. That'll be my life. Is that why... Are you mad at me because I'm I did mushrooms? I'm not mad at you. Are you I don't sure? care if no, dude. Fuck you. Her and her friends think I'm weird with drugs. <laughs> they all, they all, they all give me like weird shit. Yeah, because you always get weird. I got weird one time because a girl she dated one time. We were like going to a show, and we she like she was talking about smoking weed. I was like, that's fine. And we're at like a, at a quit trip, and I just had to go get gas. And she just like got out of the car and just like ripped like a bowl in front of like family. This is like three in the afternoon, but we're also in like. <laughs> We're like in like Alabama or a state where it's like not legal. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I don't know if that's cool to do right now. I mean, it would have been her problem to deal with if she would have gotten in trouble. But no, also she had like no. severe stomach issues. As the driver of the car, he's responsible for everybody yeah. and everything in the car. But we weren't even by him. But this happened. We were this like happened. in the back of the quick trip. Like we had no connection to him. No, at this the time. happened like three times on this trip. And by the third time at this quick trip, we were still all by my car in the parking lot, just away from the gas. Were we? Pump. Yeah. Uh -huh. But they're like, oh, cars is being so weird. I was like, no, I think I'm just like trying not to get like <laughs> fucked right now because like. Okay, that illegal. was a weird situation. Yeah, but then they didn't tell me until we got there. She was like, she has like stomach issues. I'm like, why didn't you just fucking tell me that from the jump? But nope. I had to look weird. Like, I'm like, <laughs> don't smoke weed. That's bad. Weed bad. No. I just, weed is bad. It's not. It's not. It's great. It's not at all. But yeah, so all her friends think I'm weird with like drugs. All I'm my just, friends. Like, that, yeah, we don't talk anymore. Well, <laughs> oops. Oops. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I'm sorry so, yeah. about that. It's I, okay. <clears throat> well, at least you do shrooms. Have you ever done like... Do we want to get into this? I don't know if we should. <laughs> Never mind. No. Nope. This is not a road to go <laughs> down. Are shrooms good with like music go and left. shit? Yes. Really? See, that's and not that's, too much. And that's the thing. It's like, not like ecstasy? No. no. It literally, like it doesn't even like, alt like you are so, you feel so sober. See, yeah. You just feel a little Better. happier yeah. and just... I'm such a virgin with all this. I'll, the most I I've know. done is smoke weed. Let's see it. Yeah. It's it's literally like a. It's like smoking weed, but like. But you don't you feel high. Yeah, you feel just like. Better. See, I just want you to try just to okay. like the tiniest, tiniest little bit where you not barely even feel it. I have a heart problem. It. That's fair. Everybody affects drugs differently. Oh, I'm, I, uh, that, thank I'm you. Peer, We're like, not going to do that. Dude. Yeah, you are We're peer pressure. I just want to experience with me. my best friend. You and your friends are peer pressurers. <laughs> <laughs> peer pressurers. What if I fucking die? You I just want to. You would not die from my. You're going to take my desk. Like and you're going to take all my stuff. Definitely your speakers. I call them, Michael. Mm -hmm. No, I'm giving all my stuff to Mike and Dom if I die. <laughs> <laughs> Fucked up. No, I love Dom <laughs> and Mike. But no. He doesn't love me. It's nope. all right. Because studio stuff would just sit in your room and be like. That not true. Mike would use it. Dom would use it. Courtney would not. She'd sell it I and then it. you'd buy shrooms. <laughs> in a Jeep. Yeah. Definitely a Jeep. Bro. First. Yeah, then you, shrooms. You need, to, you need to get that Jeep. Um, I do. Okay. Cool. My cameo is linked <laughs> below. Right. Feel free to book me. for <laughs> You're going to have a cameo? Oh, Yeah. I totally will. I'll sit here and do the camp. That's what you do, right? You like right. say happy birthday to bitches. Um, right. You, like that's sing a, song. That's their slogan. Saying happy <laughs> birthday, birthday to bitches. bitches. <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. That type of thing. Yeah, I like oh. it. Well, guess what? You missed out on some pretty cool news on Friday. Yeah, what happened? What did I miss? Vin Diesel dropped a new song. Yeah, an EDM track. An EDM track. And it's fucking pretty good. Does he sing? Yep. <gasps> I got emotional to listen to it. Dude, I miss Vin. <laughs> What? I do. Triple X was like my favorite movie of all time as a kid. He's not gone. 
He still does movies. Yeah, he, he does they all just the did fast reser- movies. Return of just, Xander Cage with like all of the action stars ever. It was great. Which oh, is him. Sure. You know, the new Fast and Furious is in space. That's going to be is stupid. Really? Those yeah. hijack a spaceship. Those movies are so dumb. And okay, dude, I have this. Okay, my friend Jordan, he gets so fucking like into these movies that I remember, I think it was like Fast Five or Fast Six came out. And like after it came out, like he tweeted like five days later and he was like, man, I still can't get over Fast and Furious. And I was like, it's not like that. Like That's like you and Star Wars though. This is different. Is it? Dude, I think she wants me to kill her. Like dead ass. <laughs> it is different. The song's called Feel it can Like be I Do. Not different to you because like well, what's I'm your favorite thinking, show? I'm just thinking all like, of art. You know, it's just it's how you it's it's all special to each individual character. You still got shrooms in that brain. <laughs> I think um, I do. Yeah. She got fog brain. <laughs> no, man. I told you uh, there's a reason CEOs go, man, dog. Mm-hmm. There's a reason CEOs oh. go to Burning Man in the middle of the fucking either. desert and just do drugs for a week. There's a reason. Yeah, so they come back and they act like this. <laughs> Smart as hell. It keeps their companies <laughs> yeah. running. It's true. Like, I mean... She just talked shit about Star Wars. I have a BB-8 I didn't mug. talk shit about Star Wars. Yeah, you're like, isn't it the same thing? It's kind of different. There's like... Yeah. It's kind of different. Well, it's totally different, but, but it's, it's just like franchise. how you feel about Star Wars. That's how Jordan feels about said movie. And so like, it's okay. Vin Diesel, right. Triple X. So great. Vin Diesel. Yeah, yeah. yeah, bring it back full circle. Full yeah. Circle. Mm-hmm. Triple X. I kind of want to open for him now. That'd be sick. <sighs> That'd be cool. Yeah. Courtney got shroomed out, and while during that time, I'm just at my desk stressing out because we have some songs. You were not stressing out. Yeah, I was. About well, what? T- if if you're stressed Getting out, stuff done? Just, if you're stressed out, just put your mind on something else, like Demi Lovato I'm not being stressed. single. Like Demi Lovato. Oh, yeah, I know. Did you hear about that? Mm-mm. She's single now. She got engaged, but it's only it lasted two months, right? I saw Who that. Who was she engaged to? Some guy. Don't oh. know. Don't matter. She's single now. I'm shooting. Don't know. My shot don't matter. Twitter. I'm literally gonna shoot my shot right now. Yeah, how the, how did your Bieber shot go? You know, he didn't respond. I sent him, send him. I tweet. sent him like two paragraphs and a DM not. and a personal DM. He just didn't respond. But we'll get there. This is hard to do sometimes because I know when Courtney's lying. <laughs> I didn't do anything. I know. I forgot Why about are you it. Lying? Just do it now. I, do it now. All right. What do I say? Oh my God. Yes. Okay. <laughs> um. Are you actually going to? No, I absolutely will. Okay. Um. Mike, what should... Yo, honey. Oh, Mike's shooting his shot right now with Timmy LaFont. <laughs> Everybody's shooting their shot. I'm just going to hit up HR. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have an HR. I know. Uh, you, what no, should someone, I say? Someone. What um, should I say? Hey, get it open so we can get... Ooh. Get inspired. Right. Okay. Because at um, the end of the day, this is just to his digital team. New message. Brittany said. To Justin. <laughs> right. This is crazy. Oh, fuck. I'd uh, be like, hey, baby. <laughs> or... This is like you said something last week. You're like, Doc, I, I just I just sent her. I just added her on Twitter and just sent her the eyes emoji. Just like that's good. Oh, you should just do it. that. That's the, it. No, the yeah, the eyes. <laughs> yeah, just in the eyes. Yeah. Keep it safe. The hard oh. eyes. No, just the eyes, right, Mike? The I see you. Yep. The, the two oh, the eyes. I see you. Right. Yep. Wait, let me. I gotta double check with my manager here, Carter. I can't find it. Find Check what? with your manager for what? Oh, like the just the eyes. This one. Yeah. 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 Cool. Dead just just in that. The worst could happen, but oopsies. I fucking sent you. You sent it. I just DM'd Bieber. Do it. Cool. You should screenshot that and send it to Brittany, the one that said that it's just his digital team. <laughs> and be like, oh, is it like, Brittany? Why did you do that? She's going to kill us one day. I have a feeling he's going to respond. She's going to pull up here like, I heard y'all talking shit on the podcast. She, our, our manager, Brittany, she's scary. I always feel like she's going <laughs> to fucking kill me. She always, she's whenever I text for her us. for something like, hey, are we doing this? And she's like, yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry for living. <laughs> I'm so sorry for breathing. <laughs> she scares me, which is good. Which is good. It's good. It's good. You know who's tight and I'm hyped for, though, is Robert Pattinson. I think he's sick. He is tight. There's so, like a new resurgence for him, and I think mm-hmm. I'm all for it. I've gone and watched his other films because I was a Robert Pattinson hater, and I figured out no. he's not bad. He's, he's not a bad. very good actor. He's great. What was the one that we just I saw? I don't like Tenet. Tenet. her. Who's her? K-Stew. 
Yeah. You can fuck right off well, of that. I mean, shit. time I mean, out. I, mean, I went and saw <laughs> Charlie's Angels, so let's talk about it. Okay, that movie was terrible. Let's talk about it. Yeah. Well, we I'm, started, glad, I'm glad you got it for it was part of your AMC thing because we rented it. And, and we got like, like five, ten minutes in. We're like, dude, we can't, we can't do she it. She cannot I had carry more fun. a movie we were by herself. I had more fun with it. Cats. Oh than I God! Did with no. Angels. I and did. I told you don't watch Cats, and you thought Cats was terrible. It was the scariest movie I've ever seen because I was I was doing edibles because they're all saying yeah. like angelical cats or something something. Yeah. And I was just it, like, it didn't I'm seem scared. real. It's unintentionally no. the most scary movie of all time. Yeah, we should dress up as cats for Halloween. Mm, okay. No. Angelical cats. Oh, Halloween Fucking is down. dead this year. It's a pandemic. You know what sucks though too? It's on a Saturday. Yeah. It sucks. I don't think it sucks. He says sucks because of the pandemic. But hey, you know what? Dog, Why would it suck? Because of the pandemic? Oh, because you can't do Who the hell's going to trick or treat? Who the hell's going to a Halloween party? Well, unfortunately. Can we throw a party? Did you? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> my God. What is wrong with you? Freeze frame that one. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Well, to be fair, our friend had that party like a month ago for his birthday. We'll make it a thing. Like, you have to wear a fucking mask. Right. Well, it's a Halloween we'll party. Yeah. Check your temperature right when you check come in. Check your temp. Okay. We got, we'll do that we have shit. That, we have that radar gun. Okay. Radar. <laughs> My, don't even need my it parents had fast. to talk me out of buying the original hardback collector's edition of books for Harry Those Potter. Those are sick, though. Yeah, they come in like a chest and everything. I, I was like, Dad, oh. I could get these. And he's like, for that price, you could get AirPod Pros, stupid. Oh, so this was a recent conversation. Yes. It's very recent. I would say. Like last week. <laughs> I didn't know you liked Harry Potter this much. That's cool. Like, I was on the yeah. beta version of Pottermore before, like they let everybody on. Right. Like, oh. I, like in college, like me and my friends, like camped out together, to, like get on together. It was great. Uh oh. Wow. She Shit, just knows I how to quote every movie, <laughs> but only Hermione's lines. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's so I much don't. she likes Harry Potter, or she just wants to fuck homegirl. But <laughs> I mean, <laughs> thanks again for tuning into our podcast. Uh, it's been it's been going for a minute. Uh, but yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks again. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye.